Okay, what's up guys, Mr. Timmy here, and as you can see right now, I am playing on keyboard and mouse, and if you want to learn how to be able to do this like I am right now, then watch the whole video. Obviously, this is not just normal keyboard and mouse. I'm also playing on um, a switch. It's plugged in with an adapter, and it looks like switch binds. As you can see, it's all the switch buttons, it's not keyboard buttons. But, I'm still playing with my keyboard, as you can see on the hand cam. And, as you can see, the binds are a little weird, too. But, you have to kind of set them up for keyboard and mouse. It's obviously not perfect, but yeah, I've watched a few videos that are really popular, but they don't actually work, because they don't say everything you need to do. So, yeah. Let's just get right in to the video. Okay, so we're kind of back with a real life part of the video. So right here, as you can see, we have um, the adapter, the KX adapter, and I have my things plugged in. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just the adapter. You plug it into the bottom back of the switch. It works on the top too. But then plug it in and plug the keyboard and mouse in. It looks pretty self-explanatory. We have to change a few settings on the switch itself. So the first thing that some videos say, this one's more common, but uh, you want to go in your settings and make sure to go all the way down to, wait, where is it? Controllers and sensors. And you're going to have to turn Pro Control Controller Wired Communication on. Basically, it thinks that you are playing with a Pro Controller on your keyboard and mouse so basically it this adapter is making it think that your keyboard is a pro controller and that's why the buttons are already weird and you have to change some binds in whatever video game you want or you can change them straight from the switch so the second thing this is what most people don't say you, you're just like come in plug it in turn on that setting but then you don't really know what to do from there so basically you plug it in it's not working so this is what you have to do okay so what you're gonna want to do you're going to click on home and go to controllers and you're gonna go to change grip slash order so then on your keyboard you're gonna click spacebar spacebar then you're gonna click escape and then click on spacebar with for Fortnite. and now you can as you can see, I'm doing the W, A, S, and D. Those are the only buttons you can't change. You can change pretty much everything else. And on your keyboard, you can't actually use these bu buttons over here. On this side of your keyboard, you can only use certain buttons on your keyboard. But you can still set up binds in Fortnite that are pretty optimal. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And bye.